Hey, as you scary videos, um, as you scary TV review, and as we are scary videos, as we are scholar day videos, um, I have my hamster again. I love my little hamster. He's so crazy today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a couple things you can do if you have a hamster or if you're gonna get one. So, um, uh, some of the things you need is a cage, of course, fluff to go at the bottom of it, so comfort. Um, maybe some toys. You should probably get them some toys, treats, food, of course, a water, a water dish, um, so water. And of course, you need a hamster for all this. Um, it would be fun to have a ball for him, treats, um, food. Like you can give him vegetables and stuff. <laughs> Um, make sure you take him out once in a while and stuff. And, like, here's a way that we're training my hamster. He is trained already. Like, uh, like, to not bite us. Is when we reach into his cage, we give him a treat every time. So he gets used to us. And he knows something good's gonna happen. He's gonna get a treat. He expects it now. So that's good. We get him treats. He has treats. He's really jiggity today. And I don't know why, but... My hamster likes to go through my hand, my between my fingers. So yeah. Um, another thing is uh, that you don't need to clean them; they clean themselves. Um, just like cats, they clean themselves. And uh, another the another thing is they. This is an interesting fact. I didn't even know this. The way they drink, they don't lick like cat. They don't like like. If they have a watering bowl, they don't like lick it with their tongue. They actually slurp like. So I thought that was pre pretty interesting to know. And um, just because it has red eyes doesn't mean it's scary or evil and stuff. It's just it's the way it was born. And my hamster, one of my counter, and there's a coca puff right there. He ate it. Make sure your hamster doesn't eat that because it might not be good. But vegetables and fruit, they can eat that. Um, so yeah. Make sure you check what type of breed you your of your hamster you have. Um, I have to check mine. Um, my hamster is Mr. Fluffington. Uh, another thing is you need um, you don't need just like a watering dish. You can have those little spout things. Um, like. Um, you need, like, uh, at least room for him to run. Uh, he's really spoiled, actually. He has a cage that's meant for two snakes. So you guys don't need to do that. We have, he, we had, used to have two snakes, but we sold one. We sold one and the other one passed away because he got ill. So that was really sad. Um, you don't need a, a cage for two snakes. We just had that, so we just have him that. We also have, like, this tree thing with uh, wheels he can run on. He can't really go on the wheel because he's really short. He can't jump like that. We have a house for him to go into. And the tree thing, you can he can also crawl into. And another house thing, um, he burrows into the thing. He burrows into his shavings, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, he's very wiggly today. Aren't you, Mr. Fluffington? So I would recommend to get a hamster, a bunny, a rat, like a rat that's not like a, just a wild one. My aunt has three of them, um, so yeah, and tree zombie 46, Mr. Fluffington is not a rat. It's a hamster. <laughs> Sometimes he'll nibble on me. Um, and another thing you might want to do for your hamster is like get him some toys and some, uh, like we have like paper towel rolls, paper towel like the um after all the things gone, uh the the cardboard part we have that in there so he can crawl through that and toilet paper rolls as and the cardboard part of the toilet paper roll we have that for him too, um so yeah you need a cage of course like I said. Um, just make sure your hamster's friendly. You don't want to accidentally get a non-friendly hamster, or you could like, train it or something like that. All right, so I have to get on my glasses real quick. All right, so there we go. These are real, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure you don't get, like, 
Make sure a cat doesn't get your hamster or something like a cat. <laughs> um, my hamster is terrified of my dog, and my dog is terrified of my hamster. Not as not not as much as Mr. Fuffington's terrified of my dog, though. She's like, "What the heck is this, my dog?" It's Mr. Fluffington. She's outside, though. I think I don't know. She's in the living room, I bet. Probably snoozing. So yeah, um, like I said, just because it has red eyes does not mean anything. It's the way he was born. The cute little. Ah! He's so freaking. Yeah, it tickles. And a lot of people are scared of him because scared of hamsters because like, what are they gonna? What are the claws gonna feel like? Um, are they gonna bite me and stuff? My hamster doesn't bite. Your hamster might, but you gotta train it to not bite. That's what I had to do. You no, know, he's a perfect little angel, kind of. So yeah, kind of a perfect little angel. Not really. He could be one though. Make sure you don't harm him. Like. Like, flip him over and stuff. Don't shake him. Don't run with him or her. Don't run with your hamster. Don't shake your hamster. Don't hit your hamster. Don't bathe your hamster because that can actually might harm them. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching my vid. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching the Azzy Show. Thank you, guys. Peace out.